Hey folks, Shuli here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because we've got a great new update that we've added to your personal library within your Design Files account that is dramatically gonna help you get that product library very cleanly organized, which means you're gonna be able to quickly source the items, get them added to your design boards in seconds, and then move your project forward faster. So if you are finding that you've added thousands of items to your personal library within Design Files and it's starting to become one giant clustered mess, the new product category filters is going to be a huge lifesaver for you. So what you can now do is you can start adding product categories to your personal library within your Design Files account. To do that, you would just go to your products tab click into the new category filter here, and down at the bottom, you've got a link that says manage categories. If you click that, it's gonna take you to this view where you can start adding in all the various product categories that you want to include within your library, and then you can apply those categories to any of the items that you add. So for instance, here you can add in any new category. Once you've added in all your categories, there's a couple things you can do. You can go back to your products tab here and for any of the items that you've already added to your library, you can go in, you can edit the product details and here you're gonna see you've got your new category field. So you can just apply a category to that particular item and then save it. Now you'll also notice that that category option is also available whenever you use the Design Files browser clipper as well. So anytime you are saving items using the browser clipper, down here, you're gonna see that you can apply a category. So I'm gonna apply armchair here. And if you really wanna make the most out of your product library, what you can do is you can make your product categories and your tags work in tandem. So in my case, I have saved categories and I'm listing specific product types within them. That's how I'm gonna use my category filter. So I'm gonna use, in this case, I'm gonna have armchair for this item, but then I'm also gonna tag it with a descriptive word. And what I'm doing is I'm tagging it with styles. So if I list all the various styles that I'm gonna work within, I can then apply a style to this chair. And when I save this, I'm gonna show you how this comes into play when you start building out your design boards. So this is now saved. Let's pop on into a specific design board that I've created here. And let's say that I now wanna start looking for armchairs within my product library, but I'm looking for something that has a little bit more glam appeal. So what I would do is I would come into my library here. You'll see that I've got my filters down below. I'm gonna go straight into the category filter and I'm gonna search for armchairs and apply that. And now I wanna kind of filter down my armchairs to a specific style. So I'm gonna go into tags and I'm gonna uh, add in the glam tag here to pull up every single armchair that I've listed under that particular style. And now I can quickly narrow through and pull any of these out to this design board to fit this particular client's style. I could do the same thing if I go into my tags, maybe I want my farmhouse chairs and it'll just pull up all the items that I've added the farmhouse style to. So you can see how having your categories and your tags working together in tandem can really help speed up your overall process whenever you are sourcing items within your personal library. And that's gonna help you build out your design boards a lot faster so you can move those projects forward. Now this new feature, the new category, the product categories uh, is now available within our new plan. So it's available in the e-design plan and the full service plan, along with 14 additional major new updates that we've added, including the ability to trace floor plans, um, the ability to uh, sync product categories over to QuickBooks. There's new updates when it comes to quoting, invoicing, purchase orders, design packages. There's a lot that's been added. So if you're interested, pop on over to our plans and pricing page. You're gonna see a full breakdown of everything that's included and which plan has what. And of course, if you have any questions at all, just reach out. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.